Alright guys, starting off episode 3, we've just picked up 15 Herblore at this uh, event thing that's currently running in-game. Look, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I would prefer it if Iron Man weren't allowed to participate in these events because I've just gotten 15 Herblore for, like, completely for free. But at the same time, I'm not gonna say no to some free Herb XP, especially on a hardcore. We've just picked that up, now we're gonna go grind out 43 prayer at the nexus as well as getting that questing done so we can start temple trekking because i'm actually really looking forward to doing that we're going to get like a whole heap of resources it's going to be so good and guys priest in peril is done that is the first quest in the line of quests that is going to get us into mauritania and eventually unlock us uh temple trekking so i uh, we have a couple to go i've just got them here on the wiki uh we need to do in aid of the Myrek, so I've got a couple more to do. I've just done pre so I've got to do Nature Spirit and then In Search of the Myrek to then be able to do In Aid of the Myrek. So three quests to go before we can start Temple Trekking. And guys, there is the Nature Spirit quest completed. That means we only have, I think, one or two more to go until we can do the Temple Trekking. And can I just say really, really quickly, just while I was completing this quest here, whoops, that's a little bit too big, I did get a couple of comments on my latest completionist video so shout out to Cole, ignis nav and pvm frosts uh you guys look to be honest i've been having a little bit of a little bit of a crappy day uh today but seriously those comments from you guys there absolutely made my day absolutely made my day so thank you so much for that it's really appreciated but let's continue with the quests also guys i forgot to mention we did manage to pick up 44 crafting from the nature spirit and also 35 defense as well so that's really cool and the next one we need to complete is 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 bear with me in search of the myrex so that's <laughs> And guys, there is In Search of the Myrek completed. This one didn't obviously take any time at all, apart from it, uh, the time it took me to gather all of the items I needed. It probably took me like an hour because I needed to get them. I was trying to get them from monster drops, and then it turns out I could have just bought them from a couple of stores. So yeah, it took me a little bit of time, but the actual quest took me like five minutes, so really no problem here. Let's just go and use all these lamps, see if we might get a level or two maybe. I don't think we're going to 600 XP. I don't think it's really going to get us anything. Nah. All right. Now we're going to go and do in aid of the Myrek, and then we can finally get cracking on our uh, temple trekking. And guys, we're just taking a little bit of a break from the questing grind, and we have gotten ourselves 43 prayer from the Nexus here. I've just been AFKing this in my downtime while I'm editing, so that's really good to unlock. I'm going to feel a lot more comp uh, confident in combat now that we have the three protection spells like protect from melee range and all that sort of jazz that's really good now we're going to go back uh, complete in search of the myrek that's going to unlock us temple trekking so let's do that all right and guys that is in aid of the myrek done so that means we have unlocked temple trekking but before we go and do temple trekking i am going to go and complete the uh the fairy tale quests or at least you know the ones i can do to unlock the fairy rings just to make transport around the game a little bit easier and also to get my farming up as well because we're going to start slayer soon and you know you get a lot of seeds from that you've got to start farming the herbs and whatnot so that's going to be really helpful for herb collecting as well so we're just going to pop these xp lamps and maybe get a level who knows we're going to get all right we got a strength level hell yeah and an attack level that's pretty cool as well okay so onto the fairy tale quest and then we're going to start gathering resources from uh from temple trekking i'm actually so pumped and guys there is the lost city quest completed that gives us access to the fairy tale quests which i'm going to go and complete now not all three of them but i'm going to complete the first one and get the second one started just so that unlocks the fairy rings as i've said and then we're going to go and complete Darkness of Hallowvale, and I'll explain why in just a minute. And guys, there is Fairy Tale Part 1, Growing Pains completed. We get a whole heap of farming XP, which is really good. It's going to boost our farming from 15 to 22. That's really helpful. Now we're going to go and start the second quest so I can unlock Fairy Rings, and then we're going to move on to Darkness of Hallowvale. <laughs> yeah, guys, there is Darkness of Hallowvale completed. Now, the reason I did this is because it really does make... Uh, temple trekking literally twice as beneficial as uh, like having not done the quest so if i didn't do the quest i could only go one way with a temple trek and then i'd have to run all the way back and do it again but with this quest done i can go from a to b and then back from b to a and back and forth and back and forth if that makes sense we got a whole heap of levels as well we just jumped up a heap of agility levels five agility levels five thieving levels seven construction levels as well 
and we also got this Tome of XP. We can only use it in a skill above level 30. So I'm just looking here, probably prayer or crafting maybe. Yeah, nah, prayer. Oh, agility though. Agility though. Mmm, no, prayer. Prayer, prayer, prayer. And we got 45 prayer from that as well. So that's really good. Now we, are, we can finally go and just grind Temple Trek and get a whole heap of resources. I cannot wait. Let's go and do it. All right, guys, I've just been Temple Trekking for maybe an hour or so. Just, it's a new day. I've just woken up. So I've just been doing a little bit of Temple Trekking and I've got 20 easy rewards here. I've tried doing the medium paths, but at my level, they're just way too hard. I cannot complete them. So we're going to stick to the easy paths and continue doing that. And I have been told that uh, silver bars are probably the best reward. I, I've already got like 2,000 bow strings, so I, I think I'll be right for them at the moment. Sharks, sharks are like, I could probably invest in some sharks at some point. I'm, and like watermelon seeds, I don't need since I'm nowhere near the farming level to, uh, to farm them. So I think silver bars will be the way to go. So I'll be back once I've claimed all these silver bars. All right guys, so after 20 easy tokens, we have just over 2,200 silver bars. So I think I get 50 XP per, bar so this is like uh 110,000 xp i think if my maths is correct so that's going to get us a whole heap of crafting xp so we're going to we're going to go and do that now i think i'm just looking for something afk to do at the moment so that's what we're going to go and do all right guys this is the last crafting level that we're going to get with all of those silver bars we went from 43 to 55 which is uh that's a really big jump we got a whole lot unlocked as well we can now actually craft mystic armor as well which uh I, I like i've got no way of getting the the material at the moment but that's always good just to have you know in our back pocket for when we do come across some mystic cloth somewhere that's really good going to be able to upgrade our uh, magic armor a bit before we end the episode i'm going to go and do a whole lot of questing so cue the quest montage in three two one go Alright guys, I'm just pausing the montage really quick, we just surpassed 50 quest points, so we're going to come and reclaim another dice from May, and we're going to roll it, we're going to get 250k for free, so we're going to be over half a mil cash stack, which is going to be mm -hmm. sick, and we're also going to get a black plate body heraldic, which is another fortunate component, I believe, so that's really cool, now back to the montage. Guys, actually, what the fuck? I was just doing some AFK fishing on the on the hardcore while I was playing on my main, and I got bubbles. I got I got the fishing pet. I'm only 44 fishing. This is absolutely ridiculous. I've been going for this pet on my main. I'm like 18, no, sorry, like 25 million XP on my main with no pet, and I get the fishing pet at fucking 56 cakes. What the fuck, dude? I thought Iron Man luck was a myth, but apparently it is absolutely true so we're going to inspect him oh my goodness and i'm in legacy mode because i've got i used to have the i usually have the client on my other monitor so we're just going to go here pets and we're going to get him out of course bubbles <laughs> there he is oh my god that's absolutely ridiculous 
Guys, we made some absolutely insane progress this episode on top of the fact that we got Bubbles the fishing pet at like 56k fishing XP, which is like borderline unheard of. So I'm really, I'm really hyped about that. Next episode, we're going to continue the quest grind and we're also going to get into some pretty serious Slayer. I want to bump that up, get my combat stats up as well and start getting some, you know, some farming seeds, start farming herbs, get some potions, get my herbler up all that good stuff so if you don't want to miss that and you don't want to miss any future content make sure you subscribe and hit the like button down below lets me know that i'm doing a good job as well but with all that out of the way guys my name is sanso thanks for tuning in i'll see you in the next one see you guys